Hi, I'm Sarah Jackson, and I'm the 2022 president of the Texas Lyceum. I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas, my hometown. And this is gonna be 22 questions about me. Hopefully you learned something new. Well, I would say leadership, service, dynamic. I would definitely say digital. I don't mess with paper if I can. Well, I would say anyone who knows me knows that I love the afternoon and the evening time. But in the morning, if I had a favorite part, it would be getting to have a cup of my favorite green tea. Hmm, mm -hmm. I'd let you decide, but I'll tell you it starts with an E. This one is also a tough one, but not too hard to answer. I would definitely say one of my favorite movies to watch is Pretty in Pink with Molly Ringwald. I would say people probably don't know that back in my younger years, I almost made it onto Jeopardy and not Teen Jeopardy. That would be the real Jeopardy. That's a fun little thing. Well, not a big fan of Narnia, so I'd say that's probably not it. Um, definitely love my um, soap operas and don't get to watch them as much. So I would say it would have to be Genoa City. And for those of you who know Young and the Restless, that's probably where I'd want to live. Well, I really was much like I am today. Uh, at least that's what friends have told me and teachers from back when. I was my class president for all four years, and I was also a member of the cheerleading team, drill team. I was a National uh, Honor Society president and was also voted most likely to succeed. So I'll let you tell me what you think high school was like, but I definitely had a great time with my classmates and enjoyed my time at Mesquite High School. Go Skeeters. Now, um, had you asked me this question before uh, the start of this year, I would have told you one of my past meetings, but I would be biased if I didn't tell you that one of my favorite meetings has to be the meeting we just held uh, here in El Paso recently with uh, our El Paso delegation alumni and our directors. Um, it was my inaugural meeting as president of the Texas Lyceum. It was on the new border, looking at a different narrative of the border and frankly, what's happening there beyond it being just a migrant transport area. It's a hub of commerce and business and everything in between. And we had a wonderful weekend in El Paso and Juarez. And I would say that now, now has become my favorite meeting until we hold our PubCon in the next couple months. Well, I'm most excited about hosting a slew of meetings from El Paso, which has already happened, to Frisco, bringing everybody to my home region of North Texas for a large conference to talk about Texas in the 2020s and the issues driving the state in this de decade. But we're also going to head off to Orlando, where my Texas Lyceum classmate, Cassandra Mate, is welcoming us through Visit Orlando. And it will be a family fun and just fun time for all. And then we'll head off to Amarillo and uh, with a concert, hopefully, with Pat Green. And then we'll end the year in Longview, Texas, Lyceum's first trip to that city. But we will be up in hot air balloons. And so I'm most excited about some of those programs and then a lot of new initiatives that the leadership team is working on that we'll share more with you later. Uh, but like many women, I would have to say it's probably a close tie between Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey. Both of those women, I think, are absolutely just inspiring in just who they are and what they've done. And they are among my favorite inspirational speakers. There's actually a, a little button in my home, uh, Michelle Obama, that I uh, had from the time she spoke in Dallas a few years ago. And so I would say those are my favorite speakers. The Texas Lyceum really is family. It's um, a chance to bring family together to help serve Texas. It has a very special meaning in my heart and I do enjoy serving the Lyceum and by, by extension serving the state with all the great leaders, um, knowing that many of us will go on to do even greater things for our state. And so this Texas Lyceum is just, a, it's the people 
it is the places that we get to travel, um, but it really is, is like home, it's like family, just something that is um, really close to you and unique and all, and, and all the same things. Um, I think the best advice I tell people I've ever received is that the intern working with you today could be the CEO tomorrow. And just the idea that you never know who you're with and so you should treat everyone the same. And with the idea that people aren't their station, people are people and you have to see them for who they are and have an empathy and understand who they are as well. And so I would say that's the best advice I've ever received because in my career so far, there are people who I used to work with um, who were at the same level who are now running companies, which is really fascinating and impressive. The first is connectivity. We are working on being better connected as an organization, not just to the state, but to each other. And so we're focusing on alumni engagement. We're also focusing on some internal membership initiatives that we hope will help us to better serve Texas. The second is a focus on the future, looking at the state in which we, we are in and this idea that we are uh, a changing, evolving state. And so how are we showing up and how are we serving Texas to really fulfill our mission? And the third is an innovation of some of our initiatives, including our fellowship program and our development program, the advent of the Lyceum 50 program. And so that is something new that we were doing and three priorities that I look forward to sharing more with you about and also hoping to work with many of you about in the future. I love Dallas uh, and I do love El Paso. Um, but I will say that, that my favorite spot to vacation in, um, in uh, Texas has to probably be Lake Austin Resort um, in Austin, um, Lake Austin Spa Resort. I went there for the first time a couple years ago with some friends and really enjoyed it and can't wait to get back. So it's definitely one of my favorite spots to visit in Texas. Uh, wow, uh, <laughs> that one is quite tricky. Um, I would have to say uh, it, it's definitely working together. I think of that song, uh, Lean On Me or Stayin' By Me or something like that, um, in that that's how we're gonna get through this year, um, by working together to ensure that we are serving Texas, but also to ensure that we're all working together. So I already told you I was an extrovert in one of the questions, but I would say purposeful, um, I definitely am curious. I've been curious since I was a little girl, which is what left, led me to go study journalist, journalism. Um, but also, friends would describe me as very loyal, which goes to my Leo traits for any of you who have studied the Zodiac. Um, I think the biggest challenge for us is really making sure that we, are, we have the right infrastructure to serve today's Texas. And so just thinking about we, you know, whether or not with the evolving demographics in such a transformative election year, looking at the Texas Lyceum to see if we um, really, if there anything we need to do, are we reaching the right Texans? Are we serving um, Texas in a way that fully accomplishes our mission and our vision from our founding in 1980? And so I think working with our directors and alumni and anyone who would like to get to know us better I think that will be a challenge, but I'm pretty certain and hopeful that we will be able to overcome that this year. Um, I've been honestly blessed to have experienced many things in my career thus far, but one of my uh, proudest accomplishments has been the opportunity to uh, be a part of a film about President Bush 41 called 41 on 41. Um, dovetailed with that was an opportunity to speak to um, speak to speak at my presidential leadership scholars graduation at Little Rock Central High School, which was a civil rights um, institution that we all know in our history, and speak and have an audience of many a lot of business leaders, but especially special was the opportunity to speak in front of President Bush 43, um, former Prime Minister Tony Blair, and former President uh, Bill Clinton. And so those two things, I think, 
for me or when I think about those that are closest to my heart. And, and two things I'm really grateful to have done as a first generation Texan and American whose parents immigrated to the United States from Sierra Leone. All my friends know I love global travel. So one of the cool things I like to do is to travel somewhere for New Year, somewhere in the world. So I have brought in New Year's in Rio de Janeiro, pastures in Reykjavik, Iceland. I've been in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, Sydney, Australia, I think has to be among the top New Year celebrations in that it was so cool to be bringing in the 2020s in Sydney with just a breathtaking fireworks display. That word would be impact. Both personally and with my leadership team and our directors and our alumni, I'm hoping that we can have greater impact on the state of Texas and how we serve. So that's my guiding North Star is the question always, are we having impact? And that's it for 22 questions with me, the 22 president of the Texas Lyceum. I hope you will follow us on our Texas Lyceum social media pages and continue to lean in on service to Texas and find out how you can work with us and join us for a conference, especially our largest conference in Frisco in March. Thank you.